Welcome to another edition of the App Trainer's Microsoft Office Excel 2010 basic training videos. Thanks for watching today. So look at the entire basic outline that we're going to be covering in this video series. Today we're looking at Unit 2, Entering and Editing Data. And more specifically, we're going to focus on Topic B today, which is on how to enter and edit formulas in your Excel spreadsheets. And this is one of Microsoft Excel's backbone, uh, one of its strengths, right, that you're going to be using a lot. Uh, so it's a very powerful feature. Uh, you're going to want to pay attention to this video because there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, and hopefully you've been watching a couple of the previous videos too. Even though there's no prior experience necessary, um, you will find it helpful to have learned uh, what we went over in the previous videos. So enjoy. Welcome to the formulas video. Here we're going to be taking a look at uh, all the major um, uses of formulas, calculations, and pretty much the backbone of Excel. Uh, a lot of the most powerful features of Excel can be performed uh, by using a um, combina combination of formulas and uh, functions. We're going to start with formulas now, and just to make sure we're all on the same page here, a formula is any type of numeric calculation. Uh, it could be, you know, like adding two numbers, subtracting, right? Those are some examples of some more common, simpler. Uh, formulas, but you can also do all sorts of real intricate formulas as well. Um, we're going to start with the basics though. Now one thing you're going to have to remember is any type of formula you enter, no matter what type of calculation you're looking to perform, it's always going to start with the same symbol. And that symbol is the equal sign, right? So after I click on a cell, I put in the equal sign, that's going to tell the program to expect some type of calculation, formula, function, right? And uh, after I put in that um, equal sign, I'm going to have to put in a variety of either references or operators. And we're going to go over the operators now. And these are just the simple um, <coughs> keys, the simple symbols that you put in there that uh, tell Excel uh, what type of calculation you want it to perform. Right? And the basic ones you have, of course, you've got your addi addition, and you use the plus sign for that. right? Um, you have uh, for subtraction you have the minus sign okay uh, for multiplication it's the asterisk uh, key which is either shift plus eight or uh, you'll find it if you have a number pad on your keyboard um, probably above the nine uh, for division it's the um, forward slash right that divides two numbers um, otherwise you have uh, parentheses you can use um, you have the percentage sign you can use which will change the number to a percentage uh, and for exponents you're going to use the caret symbol which is shift plus six and that will raise a number to a certain power so for example if I want to take um, two squared I would do two uh, caret two right and that would give me two times two if I want uh, three cubed or three to the third power right I would type in three carat 3 and that would give me 3 times 3 times 3 okay now one thing you, you're going to definitely want to remember with these uh, operators is Excel always performs them in the same order every single time uh, it has a specific order of operations that it always follows uh, this is something you may just want to keep in mind because uh, you know from time to time if you happen to get an inaccurate result when you're doing calculations and formulas uh, you may want to double check that the order is um, <coughs> entered in the cells correctly. All right, and uh, Excel is always going to uh, perform the um, uh, values in the parentheses first. So I'll just sit, sit here and type out the order for you. Uh, so parentheses is the first step. Um, the second step it's always going to do are the exponents. Right. The third step it always does will be the multiplication followed by uh, division and after that um, it does the uh, addition and finally the last uh, calculation it will perform is the uh, subtraction okay so you can basically remember these uh, with the acronym uh, PEMDAS okay I learned it in high school is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally uh, but remember it any way you want um, stands for parentheses exponents multiplication division addition subtraction Okay, so uh, <clears throat> let's now get a look at how actually uh, you're able to put these in to the program. So um, I've devised a simple example here with my other sheet, and this is again using the um, fake company I'm calling Pacific Spices. And uh, I have a very simple spreadsheet here that goes over 
um, the bonus sales for one of the particular regions of the company. And I've got three people listed here, uh, and their employee numbers and their four quarterly sales figures. Right. So what I want to do here in column uh, G is I'd like to add up the four quarterly figures for uh, Melinda, Eric. And uh, Eric, we got two Eric's in there. Uh, I'm going to start with G5. So remember, you can either click on this once, or you can simply move there with your uh, keyboard. Now, to enter a uh, formula, you're always going to have to put in that equal sign first, right? So there's the equal sign, uh, and I want to add up what's in cells C5, right? C6. I'm sorry, C5, D5, E5, and F5. Okay, so all I need to do is simply type in C5, right? The first operator is uh, the plus for addition. And you're going to notice um, now C5 is outlined in blue with some boxes around it. That just is letting you know that Excel is referencing that value in that cell. Okay, so don't, no need to worry about um, those little things popping up, okay, when you're putting in your values. Uh, so equals C5 plus D5, right? Uh, we're going to add to that E5. I'm going to add again uh, F5, my last uh, value. value. And then when I'm done, uh, I'll just hit the Enter key, right? And it's going to add up all those four values and give me 23,442. Right? So very simple, OK? Um, you can also put in the formula as well in the formula bar in your uh, interface. That works just as well as the uh, cell does. Okay, so let's do one more example here. This time, I'm going to show you a slightly different way, and you may prefer this um, depending on uh, what input method suits you. So whether you're comfortable with the keyboard or the mouse, right, you can use either or. Uh, I'm going to click once on G6, right, that's going to activate the cell. Uh, I'm going to put in my first symbol again for any of the formulas that I, that I use, and that, again, is the equal sign, right? That tells Excel to, uh, to expect some type of calculation. Now, with the mouse, I'm just simply going to click on C6. Right? I've still got to type in the plus uh, sign for my calculation here. But then I can simply click on D6. Right? I'll hit the plus sign again. And then I'll click on E6, hit the plus key, and then click on F6. Right? Now I'm done with my formula. I can hit Enter, and it's going to give me 24,755. OK, so for the uh, last uh, person here in my company, I'm going to allow you to choose um, one of the two methods to, to calculate the total for Eric here. Uh, and you can either choose by just you know typing it in or you can use the mouse to select. I'm going to do uh, the latter here. I'll do equals C7, right, plus D7, plus E7, plus F7, and I'll hit enter, right, and I'll get my total. Okay, one thing to bring to your attention though is check out G. 9 right there's a value being calculated here and it's actually trying to total up the um, three totals from Melinda and both Eric's and uh, we're getting about 48,200 but if you take a look at our three total values here right the 23,000 24,000 23,000 again you'll recognize that it's probably it's, it's not too accurate down here all right we're missing one of the numbers so how can you edit a formula that's already been entered well if you click on that cell right so g9 in this case you'll see in the formula bar uh, we have equals g5 plus g6 and if i click on that formula bar it's going to highlight those references by coloring by outlining them in a color right and you'll notice it's missing G7. So that's not good, right? We want to include the, the um, Eric's uh, total so we can get a more accurate number down here. So all I'm going to do is click once again in the uh, formula bar. That's going to give me my cursor. Uh, and from here, all I've got to do is hit the plus sign. And uh, oops, I'll hit the plus key. And either I can click on G7 or I can just type in G7, right? And I'll, I'll get another outline around the uh, cell that I want to include. doesn't matter if it's uppercase or lowercase g, right? And then I'll just hit enter, and it gives me the uh, much more accurate figure, 71,962.
okay so um, those are the basics on how to input your formulas into Excel um, in the uh, later units uh, unit 4 specifically we're going to take a, a closer look at some of the more complex functions uh, that we can use in Excel to really help streamline our, uh, our analyses and our work in Excel so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video